I want you to try this. Mmm. We're not allowed to have mayonnaise right now. We can have this kind of mayonnaise. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews and we do recipe videos. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we sit down on couch for keto on the couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website which is twocrazyketos.com and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So we are in the middle of the beef, butter, bacon, and egg challenge. And we need condiments. We need condiments. Well, when we were in Kentucky, I was actually talking to Dr. Barry and he's like, you should make a bacon mayonnaise. I'm like, we've been there, done that. Rachel didn't really like it. And he's like, what do you mean she didn't like it? And I'm like, when we did it, I just use like bacon grease straight out of the pan. We didn't bother trying to filter it or Maybe clean if it was it. prettier. Yeah. And so I was like, it's going to be a hard sell for Rachel to eat bacon mayonnaise again. And then I said to him, maybe we can do butter mayonnaise. Hmm. And he was like, you need to do that. So I was really playing around with the whole idea of doing a butter mayonnaise. And we have an avocado oil mayonnaise, which, which is, is great. really easy to make. If you have not seen that video, I'm going to leave a link for it right up here. It's really easy. And I wanted to make this one that easy. Right. And I've had some trials and I've had some failures and I've had some successes. And we've been eating every one of them because here's the thing, even if it fails, it basically becomes a really thick hollandaise sauce. Right. So there's really no harm in it, no matter what. Right. It's delicious. And how many recipes that fail can you say that? Yeah. So, but we really wanted to get it perfect. So we kept doing it. I was trying it by hand. I was trying it by machine. And I want to make sure you could do it both ways. I really had a hard time with making it with a machine, like an immersion blender, the way we do the avocado oil mayonnaise. It just was giving me a hard time. And I finally nailed it right but i am gonna say this i actually think it's easier and faster to do it by hand that is amazing so <laughs> let's go over what you're gonna need first of all before you can get into the ingredients you're gonna need a mason jar right okay and because we're pretty much making this similar to the way we did the avocado oil mayonnaise uh then we're gonna need some kind of an immersion blender which i can't hand over because it's plugged in so yes, that's what you're going to need if you're going to make it this way. If you're going to do it by hand, we're going to use a bowl, mm -hmm. which we're not going to demonstrate this here. And then use a whisk or use one of these like kind of whisks like this. This Plunger actually whisk. makes it a little bit easier. Um, I actually do it with a combination bolt. I start with a whisk and then I kind of get into this. And you just got to kind of keep moving it around like that. Um, either way works. I actually did think that this way is faster, but... This way with the immersion blender is going to be a lot less on your arm. Okay. So we're going to do the immersion blender. Now let's go over the ingredients. Here's what you're going to need. You're going to need two egg yolks. We can find those. We're going to need a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Okay. Then we're going to obviously need some Redmond Rail salt. Always. Um, then here's what you need. You either need lemon juice. Mm -hmm or apple cider vinegar, or both. I use both. We're gonna use a teaspoon of each one, but you can use two teaspoons of lemon juice, or you could use two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar. Any way you want, just a total of two teaspoons. And then we need some butter, okay? Which, this is a really cheap ingredient. Right. Instead of the avocado oil. Yeah, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the butter, you're going to melt it in a microwave in like something like this. Pyrex. And then we're going to let it sit and cool down. Not cool down to the point where it's going to solidify again. Right. But we just want to get it not super hot. Because you don't want to cook the eggs. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to put all that stuff away and then we're going to get started. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take our mason jar. Mm -hmm. We're going to put our two egg yolks into the bottom. They look so weird without the and, white. <laughs> 
And what all we're doing is we're saving the egg yolks from when we make like the Maria Emery protein sparing bread. Yeah. So it's a great thing to do with that. And then we're gonna take into that, we're gonna do a tablespoon of mustard. Mustard. I like Dijon mustard. We're gonna add about a half a teaspoon or whatever you want of Redmond Real Salt. And then like I said, this here, since we are on this challenge, we're just using a teaspoon of lemon juice and a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. Again, you can use all apple cider vinegar, you can use all lemon juice. I actually think it works and tastes a little bit better with vinegar okay. over the lemon juice. Okay, and then finally, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our butter here. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our immersion blender and we're just gonna quickly mix this up. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our butter and we're just gonna put a little bit in there while this is running. And this is gonna take some time, okay? So be patient. It's not like the avocado oil one where, where you can pour it in and do it. it won't work like that with the butter. That's where I kept failing. So we're gonna put a little bit in and turn it on. And now we're gonna let this emulsify and just keep going. You're gonna think it's not doing anything. You're gonna think it's not mixing. And we're just gonna keep going until it gets a little thick. You can see how it's getting a little bit thicker. Kind of bounce it around a little bit. Best things come to those who wait. Kind of rotate. You can also do this with the whisk attachment in a bowl. And it's gonna be the same thing. If you are doing this manually, put a little bit of butter in with the whisk, keep it going, get it super thick, then add a little bit more butter and keep going. So you can see how that's starting to thicken up. Yeah. So we're gonna keep it running, add a little bit more butter. And this is two full sticks of butter. It's two sticks of butter, so it's one cup of butter. But now if you pour all this butter in there at once, it's gonna break. Now here's the good thing. If it breaks, you can actually fix it. How? Take all, go get another. Duct tape. <laughs> go get another mason jar, put an egg yolk in the bottom, okay. and then take your mixture and do the same thing. Slowly start pouring it in and the oh. other egg yolk will help you to emulsify. It'll be a little bit more eggy, but it's actually really delicious. I need forgiveness in recipes. Okay, so again, you see how it's getting thicker and thicker and yes. thicker? See, look at that. Looks way Looking more like, like mayonnaise. Sauce. Okay, so now we're gonna add a little bit more butter in. We're gonna blend that in. And usually I'm standing over this so I can see what's going on, but we're trying to get that upper camera for you guys. Now it's still keeping it all in one container, which is nice. Yeah, now I don't have any more little ones. I don't know what happened to them all, but if you make this in a little one, that can actually become your storage container. How long do you keep it around? Not that it, it lasts in this it house. It doesn't last in our house more than two days. I'm gonna tell you can keep it about a week. Okay. Okay, and, and you know, it depends on your eggs. How fresh are your eggs? Now I am gonna say you are using raw eggs here. So when you separate your egg yolks, wash your hands and do it in your fingers. Don't use the shells. Okay. I know you like to use the shells. I do. But that's how we get salmonella. Right. The salmonella is not inside the egg, it's on the shell if there is any. So when you're going back and forth, shell to shell, that's how you could possibly get the salmonella. We so it's better that. to wash your hands, yes. dump the whole egg in your hand, and what happens is you let the white kind of go through your fingers. Do as he says, not as I did. And then, <laughs> and then you'll be stuck with the yolk at the end. So we'll do a little bit more. It really looks like mayonnaise. And you can hear this immersion blender going. And you can see, yeah, you've got mayonnaise here. Now the funny thing is it does take time, but think about all of the time you're not spending getting in your car and going to the store to buy mayonnaise. That last batch, I probably could have divided into two and just keep it going and it, it will blend in and it will survive because you've got enough in there. like mayonnaise. I think we're done there. Okay, so let me go ahead. Let me go ahead and 
have you hold that just like that but don't put it into the cup okay no that no oh. that hold this there you go you're not licking it are you no <sighs> okay Let's go ahead and get this little bit off. I don't know why I'm putting it back in the jar. Why but... don't you just let me lick it off? Okay. I'll clean it right up. Look at that. Okay, we're going to take this. Put that in there. Wash your hands. You know you're doing keto right if every surface in your house is greasy. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We just stored in these. So I'm going to take this. Now again, if you're using like the pint size, which is plenty big enough, look at that. You got Beautiful. mayonnaise. Now it may be a little bit thinner than the consistency you're used to. You can like keep going and it'll get a little bit thicker, but all you gotta do is put it in the refrigerator. It'll now, firm up. One thing I'm gonna tell you, you're gonna put this in the refrigerator and it's gonna get rock hard. Right, cause butter. Okay, so it's gonna get hard, kind of like a whipped butter. So when you wanna use it, just take it out, let it sit on the counter for a little while, and you'll be good to go. Or you could also, to make it so it doesn't do that, add a little bit of water. What I usually do is this batch here will go in the refrigerator. We're, we're trying to stay ahead of ourselves. Right. So this is a batch that we had in the refrigerator, and you can see how it's, it's a little bit thicker. Right. Right? But it is just as good, but... I don't want you guys to think that this one is different, so we're gonna go ahead and taste this and one. Taste this one. This is the mayonnaise expert. Perfect. Honestly, it has that tang. I don't even think that people who love Miracle Whip instead of mayonnaise are gonna be sad by this recipe. I think they're gonna enjoy it too. Honestly. It's kind of hard to tell that it's not like just some regular artisanal type mayonnaise. Like an aioli. It just tastes really good because of that butter. We definitely don't have to worry about a whole bunch of bad oils. No. And here's the best part. This batch costs less than $2 to make. I love that. Right? So depending on what kind of eggs, if you're using really good eggs. Because even crappy Hellman's isn't cheap. Right. Yeah. So if you're using really good eggs, that's a dollar for two eggs, mm -hmm. and then maybe a dollar for your butter. So it depends on where I you're getting your butter. All in for this. Super, super cheap. It tastes great. Perfect on beef, butter, bacon, and egg challenge. And Perfect honestly, every day. I don't see us using regular mayonnaise anymore. It's just too easy to make. Yeah. I, the only time I might use our regular avocado oil mayonnaise at this point is if we're maybe making our coleslaw or something like that. Yeah. But once we can get back to eating that kind of stuff, I may even try it with the coleslaw because I feel like when you mix it with the other ingredients in the coleslaw, it's not going to solidify as much. Yeah. So it'll be interesting to see how it goes. Let us know down in the comment section if you make this. Let us know if it's a game changer for you. Egg salad, baby. We really worked hard on trying to come up with it just right to make it where no matter what, you're gonna have a hard time not being able to do it. And if you do happen to break it, you can still eat it and use it. You can save it. That's right. If you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos that we have right over here. Also, make sure you take a look at the most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over there. Whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time we come up with something delicious, you'll be alerted to it. Till next time. Bye. Bye.